Bus Invaders. Can uh, can see you there. Why don't you come on in? Welcome to the home of uh, Young Rising Songs. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> We're on tour right now on a tour called Let the Kids Riot, and it's awesome. We have our friends the Bozers out with us, We're signed to our label Sun Social Club, and we're out with a band called Night Riots, who are an awesome band, so we're very, very excited, and it's been awesome. This is our front lounge, um, this is where we hang out, we get a lot of cool stuff like band-aids, <laughs> like, I don't know, this is Disney, like Little Mermaid, Steve got these, I think. Um, um, last night in Detroit, a fan made this for us, which is just so wonderful. Little, what is it? Pepe the Pepe the Frog. Pepe it's the like frog. a meme from like uh, the internet. I don't know if you ever heard of the internet, but it's like this looks just like Julian. This looks just like Andy. This looks nothing like Steve, and this looks nothing like me. The, it looks, the beard and mustache really. It looks like somebody wiped their ass. I don't know if I can curse, but it looks like somebody wiped their ass, their wiped their behind, and then painted my face. Yeah. But, but you gotta applaud the effort, you know. Yeah, it's great. I love it. So we yeah. kept that sick. Yeah. This is where we drink the most. The front. We lounge. do a lot of drinking up here. So yeah. I'm just keeping keeping real to what our normal habits are. Right I drink now. alone in my bunk. That's <laughs> sad. But but we do have a drinking game yeah. up here. Yeah. Um, which I think I I created this when I was in high school actually, and I, I'm probably not the only one who's done this, but it's only with Direct, direct TV. TV. You watch the bouncing Direct TV. Oh, here we go. go. Here we go. Oh, and, so close. And when it hits a corner, you perfect have to drink. Point. It's gotta and hit it perfectly. The thing is, though, it like never hits perfectly. Last night it did. I was so showing we, people. Really? Yeah. So we kind of stretch it a little bit. Yeah, and then we have this thing over here, which is awesome because we play all our music out of here through this aux cable, and we listen to a lot of classic rock. But mostly, we had our friend Brian here. He goes by Oliver the Kid. He's an artist, and he had he DJs for Emo Night in LA. So he we had an Emo Night on the bus. And most fun I've had in like 10 years. To explain this, on my lovely robe, looks like a gunshot wound. Uh, I believe it was the first show of tour. We'll do a little reenactment. I was sitting right here, enjoying my morning cup of coffee, and the candle was lit, we were driving, when the candle should have been at the sink. Sort of Whenever you're driving, the candle should be at the sink. Um, come to an abrupt stop. The lit burning candle slides off the table onto my lap and just dumps fire and wax all over my so it looks like new road. Somebody. So there you have it. But it smells great now, at least. This is our microwave, obviously. We heat up weird shit in it, like ramen people yeah, eat. Shit. Ramen. Uh there's like I don't know, I think this is Steve's raisin brand. He eats razor bread, that's weird, because usually it's frosted flakes. But, uh, you know, I don't know, this is probably Andy, is my guess. Uh, this is Rick's. Uh, I eat a lot of peanut butter. I like peanut butter. peanut butter. Yeah. Everybody loves peanut butter in our band. Um, Cliff Bars are really good, because they're quick. Crunchy Cliff Bars are really good, I like those. So, Cliff Bar, if you want to send us stuff, that'd be awesome. This um, is our, uh, our bus stop list. I don't think it's changed since like the first week. Yeah. Um, Flex Seal, I don't know why that's on there, but it, apparently we always need it. Yeah. Along with Miller Lite. Also known as Lachey. Lachey's. But that's always spelled wrong more. because it's, it's like wrong. Nick Lachey because he drank that on the show with Jessica Simpson. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, this is like, like cups and stuff like that. Also a giant flask. Oh, yeah. I don't even know where that came from. Which is kind of an oxymoron because you have a flask to keep it kind of concealed. Yeah. I don't know how you can Why you this. carry that around. Uh, we have a Keurig maker. I don't drink coffee personally, but he's a big coffee drinker. Steve is a huge coffee drinker. All the time. Right at the fridge. Um, so I, I stay usually in the middle because I keep my Gatorades and stuff in here and they're all gone right now, so I'm really upset about that, so I gotta pick up more. Um, yeah. I find myself eating just straight lunch meat a lot, which is kind of a weird thing to do. He has a gluten allergy, so he yeah. can't eat the bread. But this... So he eats it like by this hand. This looks terrible. I would uh, throw that out. That's disgusting. Probably... We, have, we have like a full-size fridge and then a freezer. Julian eats these. Which... <laughs> he 
lives for breakfast sandwiches. Breakfast sandwiches that are like these like frozen things, or, like English muffin type breakfast sandwiches. And there's a lot of them in there. Yeah. And we also have, it was Halloween. So this drawer is 100% filled with candy. There's nothing else in here. Yeah, that's all. So our is. fans just brought us candy upon candy upon candy upon candy. I so, think they're just trying to give us diabetes. I'm not positive, but kind of, kind of crazy. But I, I don't eat candy ever, like at home. But like since I've been on the road, like I've been eating like these sugar the thing, daddy things. Yeah. When it's ironic. there, when it's there, it's impossible not to eat. So this is Bunk Alley, and all its glory. Young Rising Suns always sleeps in the back. It's just like a thing that we kind of started doing. So our merch girl Vanessa sleeps down here on this side. It was also my fiance, which everybody knows. And so I sleep on the opposite side, obviously. Um, right, so we can't sleep together. And Andy sleeps above Vanessa. Steve sleeps above me, which let's go in his bunk and find out oh, yeah. what he's got in there. He, he keeps his bunk pretty clean. And there's, yeah, he does keep his bunk pretty clean. I'll turn the light on so you can see like, what a bunk. Steve's bunk's look. Steve's bunk looks like, but he keeps it pretty nice in here. Yeah. So that's a nice one. But not Ooh, like mine. You know what? So our front of house oh. took uh, a little trip to Cleveland, and he was off the bus for a little bit. He went to a wedding. So in the meantime, we took the liberty of decorating his bunk a little bit, which you can check out here. Um, and they're all, it, we found this like magazine with, with beautiful men in it, so we decided to paste it up on his, on I his think, ceiling. I think he appreciated it. He did. I would. I would. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. And then Julian. Yeah, Julian sleeps up here. Let's see what he's got going on. Oh wow. my God. He's got the cleanest bunk of all. He's got nothing in you. Just nothing. You don't even want to see my bunk. It's so bad. It's on the bottom there. It's bad. Um. It smells great back here. Yeah, I'll Which go in unusual. here then. Yeah. So, I'm gonna, I'll show you how, uh, so you have a toilet obviously, but you flush it differently. You flush it with your foot there, and then your pee goes down, but you cannot go number two on this bus. So, there's no grinder or anything, so you can't do that, and it would smell horrible, but it still smells like piss on the bus all the time anyway. And, you got your running water, don't drink that. It's bad. Okay, so now that you've seen the toilet area, um, we also have the luxury of having this high-end shower <laughs> Look at where, the tile we, work. where we get to really just, you know, relax and enjoy a nice, long, hot shower. Um, just the height of luxury, which is great. Um, but in reality... 25-second showers because it's like Navy style. Yeah. You have to rinse your body because the water tank's not that big. Soap up so the water goes off and then you just rinse your body off and then that's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. And then you're out. Although it does heat up quite fast, which quite is nice. Quick, yes. um, so, so this is the final room. Forward. We also have this a is back the back lounge. lounge. Oh, and, and here's Julian hey. reading a book. What is happening? You can find Julian back here, back here quite frequently. Yeah. Taking a moment to himself. He's usually time. reading scripture, but Oh, Today yeah. he's reading Chuck Palma. Yeah. Good. And what, this is kind of a hangout. Yeah, it's a nice little back hangout for all of us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for hanging out with us. We hope you enjoyed this nice little bus tour that we were able to provide. Um, make sure you pick up Kids Will Be Fine on iTunes or listen on Spotify. Um, and for more information about shows, when we're coming to your city, check out our website, youngrisingsons.com. Get out. See you next time. Get out! <laughs> ah! Ah! Ah!